this experience that you are about to see has ever happened to you, then you need to know that you can find a happy ending, just like David McFarlane did back in the days of the Old West. I got the wood all chopped, Ma. Thanks, honey. Now what could I do for you? Well, you could help the others weed the garden. Okay, Ma. But when that's all done, I want you to have some fun. Why don't you go out with your friends and go fishing or hunting or something, okay? You've been working so hard. Oh, I don't mind, Ma. I know, but promise? Okay, Ma. Okay. That boy, what would I ever do without him? When Papa coming home? I don't know, sweetie. Soon, I hope. Maybe next week. Okay. Yeah. What did she say? She said she didn't know. Maybe next week. Or maybe never. Maybe never was right. You see, the truth was that Mr. McFarland had left his family. He had just packed up and run off. Nobody really knew why. Maybe he had found another lady. Or maybe he couldn't handle the responsibility of raising such a large family. Whatever the reason, he was gone, and the McFarlands were left to fend for themselves. I think Pa's lost. That's what Ma told me. What do you think, Dave? If that's what Ma says, then it must be true. Maybe I'll go off and have some fun with the other guys. Okay, bye. Bye! Only David knew the truth. Ma couldn't see any need to tell the other children yet. They were too young to understand. She would tell them when the time was right. Well, I guess I'm done. But all my friends are out doing something with their paws. Oh, yeah. At least I can look like I'm going somewhere. And David left for the woods alone to think up some story he could tell Ma about what he'd done and what he'd tell his friends at school in the morning. Hi, Ma. Oh, hi, David. Hey, did you have fun? Did you catch anything? No, uh, I didn't, uh, but the other guys did. They just let me go. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to go to bed now. I got school tomorrow morning. Well, David, you know, a boy your age does need to have some fun. Yeah. Night, Ma. Night, David. My dad took me up to Moose Lake. I caught a fish this long. My dad wow. used a spear. He did? Yeah. Well, my pa took me hunting. Oh, we camped middle. overnight in the mountains. I could hear the wolves at night and everything. Weren't you scared? Nah, not with pa there. Oh, wow. What'd you do this weekend, Dave? Yeah. Me? Uh, my pa and I went bear hunting. You did? Yeah. yeah. And we stayed in a cave overnight. Yeah, right. Weren't you scared? No. No, that was Pa there. We didn't catch any, but we found out where they hide out. Yeah. Maybe next weekend. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got to go in. Yeah. Oh, When the next weekend was over and everybody was back at school telling what they'd done. My dad took me fishing again, but this time it's way up north. We went fishing through the ice. That's nice, Porky, but I want to hear what David did. It was freezing. I almost fell in, but luckily my dad caught me. That's nice, Porky. Well, David, let's hear about your weekend. Well, uh, I thought I went back to track the bears. Ah! 
And, uh... Oh, yeah? Uh, then what? Uh, we fought a mother with cubs. She was ready to attack us, but my pa saved me, and we got away. Your pa's never done nothing for you. Your old man's off running around somewhere, and you're left taking care of the whole family. <coughs> I am not. Hey, come on. Break it up, guys. Break it up, guys. First thing to be up your pa. Hey, Dave. Quit lying for him. Your pa's nothing. Come on, let's go on a spin. He is yeah. not. He is not. Do you see what it's like to be a boy whose father has walked out? And some fathers might as well not be there for all the time they give to their children. But whatever the reason a parent leaves, the children suffer from rejection, even though they themselves will almost always stick up for their parents. My pa doesn't want me. He walked out. He left us all alone. Why did you do it, Dad? David, didn't you hear me ringing the bell? It's time for school. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Roberts, but my pa's gone on a business trip, and my ma needs me to help her with the ranch. When's he coming back? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but he'll be back. He's the best pa anywhere. Maybe a week, or maybe a month, or maybe, or maybe never. David, David, of course he's a good pa, and he needs our love and prayers right now more than ever. But until he does come back, he's not being much help to you, is he? No, Miss Roberts. But there is a father who will help you if you ask him to. There is? Yes, David. And he'll never leave you. He'll protect you and your ma and the other children. And he'll make sure that there's always enough. Who is he? He? He's God, our Heavenly Father. And he's real. And he's right here wanting to help you if you just ask him to. But I thought God was just an old crab that made you be quiet and wear clean clothes on Sunday. A lot of people think that, David, but they're wrong. If you want him to be your father, then look for him with all your heart and with all the love you have inside, and he won't turn you away. Go on, just ask him. Dear God, my pa left us. You probably already know, but I was wondering, if you could come and be our new father, it'd sure be nice. And I'm asking you, God, to please be my new father and look after Ma and the rest of us. And Father, please help Pa wherever he is and tell him we want him back home. Amen. Amen. You go on home and tell your Ma what happened today, and I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Miss Roberts. But Miss Roberts, how do you know about the father? My pa loved me too. He did? Lots of people make big mistakes, David. But even bad things can bring good things. Like, I found my heavenly father. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, Miss Roberts. Okay, bye, bye And you can find your heavenly father too. If you look for him with all your heart, and with all the love you have inside. Because whether you've lost one of your parents or not, God still wants you to know him as the loving father he really is.